In this video guys, I'm going to show you how you can add a filter or natural type so you can like change the background or color like constantly. At the end it's going to look like this, alright? Even the cars, the colors change, it's like the whole page, uh, just like the colors change like to blue, red, greenish, yellowish, it keeps changing, alright? So I'm going to show you how you can do this. So the first thing we want to do is go to Chrome Web Store. Chrome Web Store. And then search for Codify. C-O-D-I-F-Y. And then it's this one, the first one. And as you can see, I've already added it. Before you go ahead and add to Chrome, once you have once you have installed the extension, go back to Nitro Type. Here you're at, you'll add your code. The code will be in the comments section, so all you have to do is copy and paste in this box right here. So when you paste it, it's gonna look like this. So then, you can click on assign code to page, and you'll get this. So even when I'm racing, I'll show you like the cars and stuff, the background, the colors change. So yeah, this car, as you can see, like the colors are like changing constantly. Alright, now if you want to you can adjust the speed of the speed of how fast you want the background colors to change. And to do that you will want to go to manage your code and copy the code and then delete it by clicking on this red X right here. And then go to add code and then paste it here. Right here where it says 14S you can change that to any numbers you want. The greater the number is, the slower it's going gonna, it's gonna to change, and the least the number is, the faster it's going to change. So for example, if I put 1s, it's going to be very fast. So let's see what I've got. And then I'm going to reload. There, there we go. You see how it changed? Like it's really very fast. And then if I put it to, let's see, 0.3s, that's gonna be extremely fast now. Let's see. See what I mean? It's I, I can almost blind your eyes now. Okay, we're done. I'm gonna put it to 14s. That I've decided that that's gonna be the default, yeah, and it's already 14s here. And he also here you can change the background image if you would like. And if you need help doing that, let me know. I'll change it to whatever color you want it to be. And by the way, this one right here, where it says background image, that's gonna change the this part, like the body part, all right? So for example, I'll do one, I'll change it once. Here I'm gonna put a new value. And then I'm gonna click on add code. And then reload. Uh, it ch okay, we changed it, but I don't really like this. I'm gonna change it to something different. And click on add code. There we go, this has got a green-ish, mostly green. Okay, so that's how that's how you change it, and if you need help changing it, uh, let just let me know. I'll change it to whatever color you want me to change it to. All right, all right. Now, as you can see here, the uh, this page has got like a rotating kind of animation. It's uh, let me see. Yeah, if you don't want that animation, you can just like delete this part right here. 
just make sure you don't delete the semicolon but you can delete right here the highlighted part right here well actually include this uh what do you call that comma include the comma and then delete it then it will remove the rotating motion so that's how you do it guys if you have any questions about this let me know in the comment section